picture of the ashes, two picture of the SCG. You're not much good to be alive, are you, Turkish? Welcome to Sydney, where today England have been better than a whole box of mini meat pies. Paul Collingwood, retired. Uh, we thought he should have been dropped, so good decision. Yeah, definitely the right time to go. He's been in the team for about the last five or six years, more of a crossover generation, but now that Alistair Cook and Ian Bell uh, turned into the players that everybody hoped they had, and I think now is realistically the time for him to go. What will you remember Paul Collingwood for? What will I remember Collingwood for? Who's Collingwood? Paul Collingwood. Uh, well, I don't know. When his kick's coming back, he just had a bad series. But he's retired though. Yeah, well, he's done, he's done a great job, hasn't he? Paul Collingwood is just a true... He's a trooper, absolute trooper. A a, he's a battler. He's been a battler. And he's, he's a legend, isn't he? It's well, well documented that Collingwood's contribution to the team goes a long way beyond runs. Uh, he's obviously a pretty important figure in the dressing room and whoever comes in has got uh, a, a very big hole to fill. Uh, you know what they're saying in the dressing room about Collingwood? Soft hands. What did you make of Matt Pryor early? Oh look, it was a good innings, it was entertaining and everything, and I thought he you know, did what England needed, but at the end of the day, that's where we are at the end of the day right now, uh, it was a dead rubber against a team that had already sort of mentally checked out. Yeah, Australia were gone by then. This is the worst side Australia have ever had. The worst side? Yeah. No, I think in the 80s we had a couple of worse. Oh no, 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 we won one test. I don't know, don't care. Do you think this is the worst Australia side <laughs> ever? No comment. Tomorrow. I'm John from TalkSport, this is me on holiday in Thailand. Uh, so yeah, day four at the SCG, uh, started off with a huddle, Paul Collingwood told everyone he was retiring, kind of guess they already knew that. Then they went out, Matt Pryor hit his first century against Australia, I think, and uh, England hit their highest ever score in Australia, which is good. Then Australia went out, Shane Watson was involved in another run out, and the rest of the day was just a procession of Australian wickets. Three to go, and we'll wrap up the Ashes tomorrow. Okay, there's, there's nothing I love better than a Shane Watson run out. There's nothing you love better than a Shane Watson I doubt that. Firstly, I've seen you around Usman Khawaja, but go, continue. Okay, I just I thought today's was, was just a, a Watson masterpiece, my particular favourite moment. Because with a bit when it, just on that second run, he looked up and he saw that Hughes had stood in his ground. And did he go back? Didn't try and turn back. He ran down to Hughes's end, hoping that Hughes would panic and come out of his crease and Watson would survive. He didn't. And finally, Watson walks off in a run out. He's been involved in seven now in Test cricket. He's only walked in two of them. It's great. Thank you. Dreadful cricket. It was the sort of cricket. It's the reason that Australia are losing the Ashes. It's the reason that Australia have been struggling for a couple of years. If you don't run the first one hard, I mean, fuck. You miss the queen. <laughs> Laryngitis. From there, I mean, that was a Watson and Hughes giving Australia a solid start, but from there it just went, you know, went pear-shaped again. Oh, just pathetic, pathetic on every level. I don't know what Brad Haddon was doing. Uh, Michael Clark obviously outdone by swing, but yet again, just this. Everyone seemed to be pushing or going out to shit short balls. There's absolutely no reason to to be 7 for 170 on this pitch. 
There's no reason yeah. at all. Okay. And that, that's, that said, James Anderson produced, I think, one of the... For me, that was the spell of Anderson's I most How many wickets did he get in? He got two wickets. Two wickets, were... that's the point. So it, 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 he bowled an amazing spell, and he only got two wickets. That just proves how bad they batted on a good pitch altogether. Mm. Anderson, amazing, but they shouldn't be seven for 170. They shouldn't have lost three wickets in the last, whatever it was, to give England even a sniff. Um, and then, if you're going to do that, you might as well just give it away. There's no point. You're wasting everyone's time bringing people back the next day. Pointless, terrible cricket. You disgust me. I don't want to sniff you. Anderson's got 23 wickets in this series without taking a single five for... Uh, he's been consistent. He's led the attack when England have needed him to. And uh, I really hope he gets five tomorrow. One bright spot in Australia's innings was, was Michael Wedger. He was a wet spot in, in the innings for you. Uh, look, he batted OK again, but then uh, chased the ball he shouldn't have been playing at. He, you know, that makes him an Australian batsman. If anyone was ever you know, doubting his ethnicity, the way he pushed at a wide one to make sure he nicked off meant he was a posy as. Yeah, but he did play a couple of lovely shots before. Oh, who cares? He went out. Let's get over him. This isn't Usmania time. Uzmania, yeah. like, he's a very talented player, he'll be here for a long time. Uzmania! We love Uzi! Uzmania! 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 Just had some rain, but the forecast is good for tomorrow. England going to win the game, hopefully before lunch, so we can all go home. For Australia, this is the, this will be the third innings defeat in one series, which I don't think has ever happened in Ashes before. I didn't look it up, but I don't think it's ever happened. It doesn't sound like something that's happened before. But it'll be pretty, I think everyone in Australia is probably looking forward to this series just ending, and we can just move on. Yeah, for sure. Malali's? Malali's, my Malali. Oh, move on to the One Day series, which everyone, I'm sure, is really looking forward to. We I was trying to move on to Malali's, and you moved us in the wrong direction. Malali, Sam. We won't be in the One Day series. Sam, yeah. Malali's? Okay. Who's your Malali? My Malali's Shane Watson, because the guy just is a selfish git. Uh, my Malali is Phil Hughes, because you taught in Australian cricket to run the first one hard. He jogged it. There was clearly two there. If he run the first one hard, this wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, Watson made some mistakes as well, but it was poor running from Phil Hughes, and it, I think it was everything that's wrong with Australian cricket and Australian society. Tweet of the day. Come on. I've had enough of this fucking ground. I want to go. Okay. Come on. Read Tweet it. of the day. Stephen Fry. Somewhere in, in, in the jungle, I believe. No one cares where he is. Read the tweet. Holy arse mustard, Sydney. Not just a win, but a lesson of humiliation. We've outplayed it Australia in every department of the game. See you tomorrow, where hopefully we can wrap this up. But the forecast is fuck me, that's tight. <laughs>